Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is just our second episode of our new match preview battle format. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, which we did for Dortmund, what I will be doing is asking both players, this time Craig Mitch and Emma Storey, to give us their score predictions and scorers for the forthcoming game, which will be Bournemouth at home. Also tell us their team selections and almost most importantly, give us predictions for the other games around us in the top four or five of the Premier League and tell us how they think the predictions will affect the league table. I'll be handing out points and they will add to the overall match preview battle league table that we'll be showing you uh, at the beginning of each episode. So first up, for the Bournemouth at home game, I'm gonna to go to Emma Story and ask you for your score prediction and your scorers, please. Okay, I think I should just, I'm gonna say this right now, I'm crap at predictions, really bad. Good at the result, maybe, but Do you have a gamble? Do you ever What's put a, the no. disclaimers? I'm putting the disclaimer so straight away. So you never put a bet on scores or? I nev I've never bet on Spurs in my life and I never intend to. Okay, interesting. Anyway, she doesn't yeah. gamble. So she's getting her gamesmanship early. She's like she's like that person <laughs> who, when you're at school, <laughs> when you were at school, you'd finish your exams, like your GCSE or something, you'd come out the exam and you'd think, oh, I did all right there. Come out and there were girls crying. They were like, oh, I did so badly, I did so badly. And then they get A stars, no. that's what happens. This is what's gonna happen. Oh, Emma, so your score okay, prediction right. and score is please. That's it, I've done my disclaimer now. So I think we're gonna win 3-1. Mm -hmm. I think Kane, Ali and Ericsson are gonna be the scorers. Okay. And a phobie is going to score for Bournemouth. Benica I want my phobie. extra point. Benica phobie. Okay. Uh, I should just say, uh, just as uh, an early thing, these two players. Can you guarantee you haven't seen each other's predictions oh, in no. any way? Absolutely so not. So this is a total surprise. So okay. So three one. Uh, Kane. Who was it? Kane. Ali. Ali. And Ericsson. And Ericsson and Benica phobie. Craig. Mitch. <laughs> this is, <laughs> like this is so close to Craig mine. Mitch. You can actually see it here. Oh, uh, I might have a chance then. So I've gone for three one Spurs. Wow. As Ooh. well. Um, and I've said a Kane brace. Oh. And Ericsson. Oh. Uh, and I've said Ben Akafomi to oh score for, for them as well. But there was a reason for this. Because, <laughs> because he's an ex-Arsenal man, mm. I just feel like there will be that hint of Spursiness yeah. in there where he's going to just but try also and his, work. Well, you see, I was thinking he's been playing really well. So yeah. for me... That as like, well, but I'm thinking more the, the Spursiness the Spurs of yeah. it, where he's he'll on, get a he's goal. On, he's on good form, that's sure. Gradle is also on good form for them. Mm. Uh, I think that's, you know, just... It's, I'm, I'm totally unbiased, but I'm just going to say I think they're good predictions because... Oh, I think thanks. it'll be. Do you an, get an A start? No, you don't, because oh. uh, then you'll cry. <laughs> but uh, I think it'll be an open game. I don't think Bournemouth will come to just defend, and they, they like to pass it, and that will suit us as well. So I can see them scoring. Yeah. but I can definitely see us scoring. Okay, so second up is team selections. I'm going to come to Craig Mitch first for your full Spurs team selection, please. Uh, it's unchanged from Aston Villa. So you've got Lloris in goal, mm -hmm. Walker right back, Toby Vimma centre half, left back Rose, holding midfield, Dyer and Dembele. Mm -hmm. On the right, Lamella. On the left, Eriksen, Ali in the hole. Kane up front, unchanged from Villa. Yeah, I think that's not a surprise. Uh, Emma, are you going with that as well? It's exactly the same. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So uh, just just to throw something in the works, I'm going to say that I think it'll be the same, but I think Trippier will play right back because I think Ooh. we'll be looking to get more crosses into the box. But I'm just saying that. Okay, so you've gone for the same selection. This is a bit we do now in match preview battle where we take away from a, we go away from the competitive element for a bit and just speak about your memory. So I'm going to come to you first, Emma. What do you remember of the 5-1 battering that we gave Bournemouth <laughs> earlier this season at their place? That it was a battering, although my overwhelming feeling initially was I was so sad about the fact that I couldn't be there because I couldn't get a ticket, as I know a lot of people couldn't because mm. obviously they've got such a teeny tiny ground. Um, but I did watch it, it was fun. I was very much in love with Harry Kane. I mean, admittedly, when Patrick. of course, when uh, <laughs> when Bournemouth, I have to admit, I'll hold my hands up when Bournemouth scored with about two minutes on the clock, I did think to myself, Oh, for God's sake, this is when it's going to start. I really felt like we might go tits up, One but of those games. that just goes to show what do I know? I do kind of feel like that game, <laughs> I think we'd won against Sunderland just before away but um, and, and we'd started getting a few wins but that game really sowed the seeds of our confidence for the season. Uh, Craig Mitch, I was actually at that game with you, what do you remember about I it? I remember the Tannoy incident. Stop with the interception. Oh, it was yes. absolutely hilarious, the infamous Tannoy incident. Look um, it up on the channel if you haven't seen it. Men yeah. against reason. boys, men Just against boys. Men against boys, the infamous <laughs> line. But um, no, it was it was a good game. Like Emma said, when we went 1-0 uh, down in like the yeah. second minute, I was thinking, ah, oh. had Tigo next to me from JD. He's he's an Arsenal fan, so he was loving it. Ugh. But we responded well. Harry Kane got a hat-trick. I actually predicted before the game that Harry Kane would get a hat-trick. I thought that Did would be like Did you put any money on it? No, so it don't really mean anything. But he got the hat-trick, so that means the most to me, more than money. So yeah. yeah, no, it was a good game. I was happy with it. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to ask each of you to uh, come up with a relevant stat, either about the game or about Spurs' 
uh, in general. So I'm going to come to you, Emma, for your stat. Well, just talking about stats, we're talking about I thought Kane and Ali would both score. Mm -hmm. uh, you might like to know the wonderful Deli Ali, who obviously we're loving this season, mm -hmm. has got eight assists, mm -hmm. but he's formed a bit of a love in with Harry Kane. We always talk about his love for Eric Dyer, but his love for Harry Kane on the pitch is just as strong. Six of his assists yeah. have been for the man Kane. Six of them. Amazing, amazing bromance. We talk about the bromance of Jan and Toby, but you've got to talk about that one as well. Also, I'm going to add a stat to that there. I hope this isn't trading on Craig's toes because I know <laughs> nobody's going to come up with. But in matches where Ali, Dembele, and uh, Dyer have all played together for longer than 45 minutes this season, we are unbeaten. So uh, that's something, a uh, reason for them all to uh, definitely play in every game. Eight more games. Eight more games. <laughs> every game. Uh, Craig, what about you? What's your stat? Uh, we've won five of our five games home and away against the promoted side so far. So if we beat Bournemouth, that's, that's, it. that's it. Six Full home house. and away that against all the promoted Full sides. House. That is a sexual stat. Yes. Right so I think we're going to do stat. the hat trick of the promoted teams home okay. and away. I think I should get a point for that. Okay, guys. Really? So this comes into the bit uh, which will add to the point gaining possibilities for these two. What I've asked them to do. I feel like is, this is good, really good. Around. What I've asked them to do is to predict uh, the results in the following games uh, this season to add on uh, this weekend to add on to their predictions of the Spurs game. So it's Everton versus Arsenal, twelve forty-five kick off on Saturday after Arsenal have got Barcelona away Wednesday night. The Premier League have been unkind to them for once, which I like. Chelsea versus West Ham, Palace versus Leicester, and Man City versus Man United. I'm going to ask them for their predictions, and then I'm going to ask them how they think that's going to affect the top five in the Premier League. So, Craig Mitch, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, give us your predictions for those games. Uh, All right. Can I, can I just say, you <coughs> don't have to give scores um, I'm giving directly. Scores. Oh, I'm you giving can scores. if you want. Okay, 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 fine. Cool. <laughs> But, but, right. Okay, fine. Being more thorough then. Well done. You've been <laughs> extremely thorough. No, extra uh, no extra points. No, it's just about um, three points or to each side or a draw. Okay, All right. So we're going to kick things off. Everton v Arsenal. I'm going for 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Everton haven't got a great defence, so I think Arsenal will get a goal, but I think they've got enough to get a goal as well through Lukaku. I can't see it being high scoring for some reason, so I'm going 1-1. One, one. Right. Chelsea and West Ham. I'm going for 2-2. Two, two. Another score draw. I think there's goals in that game. They they really hate each other, especially the fans. Yeah. So I can see it being a score draw. Pie it with two, I would have thought. Hopefully. That would be my guess. Uh, Crystal Palace and Leicester, another score draw. I'm going for 1-1. One, one. I feel like Crystal Palace is going to get a goal. <laughs> Hopefully, Adebayo will do us a favour and yeah. somehow end up in our good books. Yeah. But I think Leicester will score at Selhurst Park. I have to say, just, just to interrupt... On my predictions video that I did last week where I had Spurs do pretty well, I've got them getting a, a draw there as well. Uh, Crystal yeah, Palace. Anyway. I think they're due something. I mean, yeah. they've been awful for and like the, and 14 And Palace games. are on a high of just having reached the cup semi-final. So come on, Palace, do us a favour. Do anyway. us a favour. And the last game, Manchester City and Man United. I'm going for 2-1 Manchester City. I think they'll edge them. They kind of edged them in, in most recent derbies between yeah. those two teams. And they've just got more in their team. Okay, so I'm going to come to Emma uh, for her predictions and then we'll talk about how it affects the league table. Oh, well, we're just completely different, basically. Uh, so... Everton, Arsenal, I think Everton are going to win 2-1. I think Arsenal are on the floor after what's happened in the last week. Um, Everton are banging form at the moment. They've obviously just yeah. reached the semi-final themselves. Beat themself. Chelsea easily, Beat Chelsea they? easily. Lukaku and Lennon, I'm telling you, 2-1. Lenny. Uh, which would obviously Lenny. Be, he's, I'm, honestly, Do it for us, Lenny. I know it's a side thing, but I'm so happy for him that he's doing really yeah, well. So am I, actually. People talking about England for him as I well. Know, Unbelievable. How, God, that'd be amazing. He seems to have learned how to cross since he's been there as well. Yeah, that's a bit unfair. What were you yeah. doing all this time, uh, Okay, Chelsea uh, West Ham. Yeah, Chelsea West Ham. I think it's going to be Chelsea 1, West Ham 3. Whoa. Yeah. At Stamford Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Well, Chelsea, let's face it, Chelsea are basically relegation fodder, so I could see how that might happen. West Ham, I hate to say this, are chasing a Champions League place. Yeah. <laughs> and again, they are bang in form. Yeah. Hyatt is just a a god annoyingly like I don't know if you guys watch the uh, FA Cup semi-final against Man U quarter final. He, sorry quarter final yeah. but he literally ran the show and I'm not just talking about the goal other than PSG have they lost under Hiddick uh, no no they haven't no so it, it might be tight but, but, but I do think you know I'll, to, to say what to go with Emma a little bit West Ham are better against the bigger clubs and Chelsea are poor. Yeah. So uh, it's interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Good. Um, and this is the one you're probably going to hate me for, but I am going Palace nil, Leicester 1. Mm. Palace have been appalling in the league. They've not won since December. And yeah. that's even while they've been having their good cup run. So yeah, it's all great. They've reached the semi-final. I don't think it's going to make any difference in the league whatsoever. I don't know if they've won since Pardew was seen in that nightclub with those four girls, <laughs> to be quite honest. Although oh I think God. that's an old photo, but I just love bringing I, it up. Great. Uh, that's well, an image we all this, want. This photo. This one. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, yeah. So no, I think Leicester are going to grind it out just as they have been. Mm -hmm. um, I think they've got the belief in the momentum, unfortunately. And it'll probably be Vardy that gets the goal because he's G1. Yeah. But you know, that's just my thought. 
And finally, City against United, I think it'll be 2-2 because basically neither of those sides can defend yeah. to save their lives. That's true. Um, but they have got both got goal scorers in them. Um, okay. I also don't think that City have got any kind of mental hold over United, even though United are rubbish these days. Um, United are getting injured players back slowly as well. I saw Schweinsteiger start. They are Schweinsteiger, the yeah, other day. did come on the other day. Um, yeah, but I don't think it'll be enough, I think. 2-2. Okay, great. So, Emma, I'm going to come to you first for how that will affect the top five in okay. the Premier League. Would you like that in reverse order or from Starting the Starting with down? fifth, please. Okay, so if they all go my way, we will have in fifth place West Ham on 52 points. Mm -hmm. We will have in fourth place Arsenal also on 52 points. Ooh, tight. In third, mm -hmm. we will have Manchester City also on 52 <laughs> points. Spurs, our boys, will be in second on 61. Wow. And Leicester, tragically, will be on top with 66. So you're saying we could be eight points ahead of Arsenal and City, yeah. uh, but they'd still have a game in hand, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, great. Nine so, points. Uh, nine points nine ahead. Points ahead. Points Ooh, ahead. Ooh, that would be a great weekend. Craig Mitch, what do you say? You, you, yours has turned out a bit differently. So, if all of my score predictions go my way, uh, West Ham will be fifth on 50 points, Arsenal will be fourth on 53 points, Manchester City will be third on 54 points, Spurs will be second on 61 points and Leicester will be first on 64, so it'll be three points off top. Yeah, that's that's difficult because I like the sound of being nine ahead of City and Arsenal, but I also like the sound of us only being three behind that's more important to me. Leicester. That yeah, is so more important. guys, let us know what you think uh, and what your predictions are in the comments section below. And most importantly, don't forget to tune into next week's uh, pre uh, match preview battle to see who gained the most points out of this. And the Dortmund match preview, which was Craig against Reese, will show you a little league table. And the competitiveness is high. I like this yeah, already. Yes, uh, so let us know what you thought of match preview battle in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs against Bournemouth. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new look Spurverse, the show where we discuss everything Spurs from the week just gone. I'm here with Craig and Emma as usual. This week, we've got a lot to get through. We're talking about the Dortmund team selection, the Villa performance, Kane's golden boot campaign, Lloris's potential poor form of late, Gomez slamming Arsenal, and Vertonghen back in training.